Well, hello and welcome to this uh, recent uh, question, uh, IGCSE, GCSE, higher tier question on uh, probability. And here we go. And uh, it says uh, there are n sweets in a bag. Okay. And uh, six of the sweets are orange, the rest of the sweets are yellow. Now, Hannah takes at random, sorry, takes a sweet at random from the bag. Okay, she is a sweet. Hannah then takes at random another sweet from the bag. She is a sweet again, but she's very greedy. The probability that Hannah is two orange sweets is one over three. Show that n squared minus n minus 90 is equal to zero. Okay, here we go. Firstly, tree diagram, uh, we've got the orange branch. And the probability of picking uh, an orange sweet is going to be six divided by n, which is this one here, that's for orange. The probability that she picks an orange, uh, sorry, a yellow um, sweet is going to be uh, n minus 6, because she's taking 6 of them are uh, orange, so the number of yellows left will be n minus 6. So the probability of picking a yellow sweet is going to be n minus 6 over n. Okay, now, second pick. Now, if Hannah picked orange the first time around, now, for the second pick, she have only 5 uh, orange sweets left, and there will be one less sweet in the bag. So the probability of picking an orange sweet second time is going to be 5 divided by n minus 1. Now, if she picked an orange sweet first time round, there will be n minus 1 sweets left, but we still got n minus 6 yellow sweets left. So if she picked orange first time round, the probability of picking a yellow sweet second time round is going to be uh, m minus 6 divided by m minus 1. Does that make sense? Now, suppose Hannah picked a yellow sweet first time round. So for, this, for the next pick, there will be 6 orange sweets left, but only m minus sweets, only m minus 1 sweets left in the bag. So the probability of picking an orange sweet is going to be 6 divided by m minus 1. The, if she picked a yellow sweet first time round, the probability of picking uh, a yellow sweet second time round is going to be m minus one, sorry, m minus six minus one, because there'll be one less yellow sweet left, which is m minus five, to give us this one here. We've got m minus six minus one divided by m minus one. Now, for this question here, we don't need this branch, we don't need the yellow branch. So we're dealing with the orange branch only, this bit here. So orange branch. So it then says, the probability that Hannah is to orange Swiss is one over three, show that n squared minus n minus nine is equal to zero. So the probability of picking orange first time round and second time round is going to be uh, this one here, six over n times 5 divided by m minus 1. That would be this branch here. And that's equal to 1 third. Uh, multiply 6 by 5, you get 30. If I multiply n by m minus 1, you get n squared minus n. And all that is equal to 1 over 3. If you then cross multiply, we then end up with 90 is equal to n squared minus n. If we then subtract 90 from both sides, we end up with n squared minus n minus 90 is equal to 0. And that is what we are supposed to show. Thank you for watching, and I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe. Bye-bye now.